there's something big that's happening, but we gotta take care of this first. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Center's Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Doing a little herd check, getting ready for red dog season. It's almost here. A lot of mamas showing some signs of having babies. Next thing is we're leading off from what we just did. After working our bison, we came down here as a group uh, to do something fun. We rotated the uh, two-year-old group, the Haas group, into a 40-acre pasture. So the Haas herd, which consists of 27, have been in our 40-acre lot for uh, about over a week now. But now that the Haas herd has settled down in this 40 acre pasture, the Haas herd has actually never been in this 40 acre pasture. And I'm sure they were happy to get out on some bigger pasture to roam around. Letting our bison rotate to a new pasture they've never been before is one of the highlights of bison ranching. We are very excited to do something even bigger for these guys, but we've got one more step. It's time to move them again. And now Marissa and I are going to, hey buddy, hey, hey, hey. Marissa and I are going to move them to a nine acre lot. And uh, when we get down there, we'll explain to you why we're moving them and uh, where they're going next. Mom. Get in that bag. Oh, my God. Can you toss him some cubes? Yeah. Throw him some cubes. There you go. Good. Throw it far. Throw it far. Some of them don't come all the way up. There you go. Good. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good throw. You hit him right in the mouth. There you go, Big Joe. Brooks, you want to go move the bison? Uh, you want to go move them? No. no? Are you feeding Big Joe? Do what? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go move Haas. We're gonna go move Haas. You go move Haas to the other nine acres. Yeah. Let's go. In the back with mom. Let's go see if Haas will go. So we're in pasture one. Is basically where we've been. Here. We got them rotated in pasture two. Big Joe herd in pasture two. Uh, me and the girls are going to go to the 40 acres, what I call pasture three, I guess, or four, three, four. And um, because we talked about dividing it up at one point, but um, so that's why I call it three, four when it's really just one big 40 acre unit. So we're gonna go over here, find the hoss herd, the big herd that we have here, and then we're gonna move them to a nine acre lot that is jam packed with abundant grasses and legumes and they're going to be so pumped so we're going to take them to that pond that we cleaned out last summer and it looks amazing and uh they're going to be like in candy heaven over there anyways let's go do that real quick you're not gonna have to Brooks is getting on to him. <laughs> well, we're here. Uh, so this is what I call the nine acre paddock. And um, it's uh, this is where we cleaned out a pond last year. And uh, this place looks amazing. Lots and lots of grass. I planted some pine trees here and uh, the grass is so tall and thick. Had an accidental burn here um, last fall. Ended up doing really good. It's came back awesome. This place has exploded here in the past two weeks with the rainfall that we've had. And uh, I'm talking grasses that are pretty close up to my knee in height. So this is where they're headed. And uh, from here, we'll tell you where they're going next. So without further ado, Marissa and Brooks and I are gonna pull through here and the hoss herd will follow us and they will be in the nine acre paddock. Let's do it.
So we're moving these guys. Got them here staged at this nine acre pasture with the pond we got cleaned out. We're really excited because this is the halfway point. So they're not done yet. This hoss herd is not done moving pastures yet. Uh, there's something exciting for these guys um, in a couple of days that we're going to do with them. There's a whole backstory and there's a lot of things that have gone on to make this happen for bison to be on where these guys are going. So we've been working on Project 189 basically since we got this property. Part of Project 189, if you guys don't know what it is, Project 189, this property that we have, aka the Ponderosa, the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch, it has 189 acres. Now that's not 189 grazable acres. You gotta include two barns, the one you guys see all the time, one we really haven't even showed you yet, and then you got six ponds, roughly about six ponds, and then you've got the woods, and then you've got a creek. So it's not 189 exactly grazable acres when we say 189, but the entire property is 189. So we'll, we call it Project 189 because it involves lots of things. It involves a burn, it involves new fencing, it involves pasture restoration, it involves a lot of stuff. But we've been working on that for a while now. You know, right now we've got 27 bison out here, two-year-olds at the hoss herd. For nine acres, this was what would be called in the regenerative world a mob grazing. So you take a lot of animals and you do some intense grazing on a short amount of acreage. Now, there's a lot of abundant grasses here. It's, uh, it's full of a lot of water right now just because uh, it's growing so fast. And I'd really like to know how much protein is in this. Threw out a bunch of seed on the pond down here and to get the dam covered so we wouldn't have any erosion. So it's, it's full of all kinds of mixes and stuff. Basically an intense mob grazing here with these guys. And they're gonna be doing this for a couple of days while we're staging them here. And then we are getting ready to let them go somewhere where bison have never been before. Probably were hundreds of years ago with no fences or anything like that. Well, it's time to bring it back. And that's why we do this. This is one of those things where uh, this is kind of our mission is to bring back the bison, put them back where they used to be. And so that's what we're gonna do very soon. If you guys want to know where these animals are going, you can go back to October of last year. If you want to know where they're going, go back and watch that video and you'll get a good idea of where they're going. I got you, Mama. Mm -hmm. I can push my boots. Look, Brooks. What's wrong? Do you not have a hook on this? A latch? Yeah. Yeah, here's one right here. Stay out of the water, Maya. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, Big Joe, what you doing, boy? What you doing, boy? Come over to say hi to mama. She wants what? She wants cubes. She wants some cubes? She's about to nibble on your fingers. <laughs> she wants some cubes. She wants some cubes, okay. Yeah. We'll get her some cubes. Oh. Where's the cubes? Right here. Oh. Hey. Well, Charlie, you've been getting mauled by <laughs> Jackie. Well, thank you. Just put it right there. There you go. Got it. You guys check out the barn. Looks way, way different. We've been working on the inside, putting walls up and everything, and excited to uh, get this thing done and get it uh, get it to where we want it. And uh, still got some ideas what we're going to do with it and um, kind of trying to figure out some stuff. But um, we are excited about what's happening in this barn and 
pumped. It's going to look awesome in here. Still got a lot of work to do, and I've been doing a lot of it with uh, uh, some friends, and I've been hiring some guys to help me along the way work on this. Some people that, uh, you know, like putting up walls, some actual real carpenters, and then I'm helping them and learning at the same time to try to do some of this stuff. Can't wait to see how this is going to turn out, and uh, I love this part because you can walk right basically here, and that's the view you're going to get, right? There's some got the sunset and all that so right now there's no bison up here and there's brooks <laughs> anyways had fun with the girls today being out here with me on a nice beautiful evening and i appreciate their help babies will be here very soon very excited these mamas are getting so close to having babies and uh, I, i'm anxious to see who's the going to be the first one of 2023 having uh, their calf so i've kind of got some ideas but we will see Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.